Yeah, Camilla, good morning. How are you doing? Good morning, good morning. You know this one. Yeah, absolutely. I know more, most of y'all. Yeah. <laughs> been around a minute. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of a lot of the conversation today has been around the vaccination and with Rob Palenka talking about uh, getting the team 100 percent. What are your thoughts on getting vaccinated and how the Lakers can set an example to not only the rest of the league, but to maybe the entire nation because of what you do, your actions? Yeah, well, I think the Lakers organization is doing a, a great job of just staying ahead of it and, and following protocol and getting people to you know, to follow protocol. And, you know, the most important thing is staying healthy and stay, you know, we, especially with us, I mean, we, our goals and what we're trying to accomplish, like we don't want nothing uh, compromising that. I know, you know, I know it's, we can't control a lot of things. We can't control, you know, what COVID and things like that, but we can do what we have to do to try to prevent it, so. And we'll be vaccinated? Say it again? You, you're you going to be vaccinated? You are vaccinated? We're 100%. We're, we're 100% over it. Jamel, uh, first off, congrats with the book and everything. Um, what have you done over the years from a dietary and training standpoint that you think has helped your longevity? It's got smarter. <laughs> you get smarter, man. You you, it, It's starting to become a lifestyle as opposed to plotting and planning what you're gonna what you're gonna eat and what you're not. But it just become part of your daily routine, and you know I, I think you. You know, the older you get, you know, you start understanding your body. You start, you know, there's too many resources out here now not to know our body, not to take advantage of, you know, the, what's out there. So, you know, I, I decided to take my own body, mind, and spirit into my own control and do what I do, man. And, you know, it's happiness, too. You know, you, you, when you're happy, you know, that's that's healthy. Um I didn't, honestly, I didn't really do much though. Like I didn't cut much out. Uh, maybe portion it a little bit differently, uh, substitute some things here and there. But I think, you know, the just being part of your lifestyle, man, just your daily routine and understanding what you have to do to as long as you play in this game. And like you with the Los Angeles Times, good to see you. Um, you, you know firsthand how difficult sometimes it can be to, to kind of mesh a superstar's game with another or, or two or, or whatever. Why has LeBron been able to figure it out at different stages in his career? And when you look at, the, at this group here, what gives you confidence that he'll be able to figure it out again this year? I mean, his, the, way he's, the way he sees the game, the way he, <clears throat> the way he understands how to put teams together. Uh, you, you, we, we've seen it throughout – I know I've seen it throughout my whole career. As long as I know I've known him, uh, he he's been able to put, you know, the pieces that he really needs for him to be at his best. Um, and, and you know, you look at his teams just over the years. All the teams was a lot, a lot different. You know, every year causes for a different type of LeBron. So I mean, we don't know what what LeBron we gonna get this year. Uh, I think that's the that's the exciting part of it. Uh, but I, you know, I, I do think that this team has been assembled the right way, uh, with the right pieces. It's not just any type of players that's, you know, that's meshed together. A lot of times when you put, you know, a group of players together, a group of, a group of talent like like we have, a lot of times it doesn't work out. Uh, but I think where we at in our careers and understanding what we have to do, understanding the sacrifices that we all gonna have to take and make in order for this to work. Uh, I think that's the, the beauty in the, in the actual journey that we're about to go on. The ups and downs, you know, we it, it, not, it ain't going to be great all the time. You know, it's be ups and downs, going to be arguments, going to be fights. It's going to, you know, but as long as we we know what time it is, that we got each other's back and we going to war with, with each other. And that's the only thing that matters. Hey, Carmelo, Kyle Goon with Southern California News Group. Um, you know, I know you guys have all addressed some of the noise from outside about the, the age of this roster. But I was wondering, how do you guys talk about it with each other? I mean, is it something you share, some jokes? Do you, is it a laugh? Is it bulletin board material? Do you like it's never it? It's never bulletin board material because it's a narrative, right? It's, it's, it's somebody else's narrative. It's not our narrative. Uh, I don't think we will all be here together regardless of age if we didn't believe in our ability and what we can do. 
So as far as the the age goes, it's definitely definitely not bulletin worthy. Uh, it's funny, actually. It, it it is funny because this is the this is the only kind of lane and genre where you got to be a certain age to be successful or be great. So we laugh, we laugh at it. It's funny. It's the first time I heard it, it was it was funny. Hey, Melo, Bill Orem with The Athletic. Uh, a different spin on the age question, I guess. What do you think it's going to be like culturally, like on the plane, you know, in, in the locker room, just to have a bunch of guys who, you know, have been in the league this long, kind of it'll the same be fun. It'll, 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 it'll be fun, man. It's, it'll be fun. It'll be fun because I, I just think that, you know, we, we all know, you know, from a basketball standpoint, what we can do here and what's the goal. But I think in the midst of that, of working towards that goal, you have to enjoy it. You have to have fun. You have to, you know, laugh and, and, and be loose a little bit when it, when it comes to this journey, because if you don't, it, it you know, it, it becomes a, a job. It be, you know, it, it is a job, but it, you, you want to have fun coming to work every day. You know, you don't want to regret coming to, coming to work because then it, it becomes something different. You know, we, we leave all the other stuff outside of this building, outside of court. And when we come in here and when we travel and when we, when we out and about and we eat and we talk in the hotels and on the planes, we're going to enjoy every moment of that because I don't, you, we don't get moments like this often where you have a group of guys of this stature on one, on one team uh, that all like each other. That's, that's very, it's very hard to find. Hey, Carmelo, Mike Trudell with the Lakers and Spectrum Sportsnet. Just thinking 2003 draft night and then the first couple of years playing against LeBron, that you guys measuring yourselves against each other. Was there a certain point where you envisioned, uh, you know, using your skills together outside of Team USA and the fact that it's here, you're still contributing to winning in the ways that you guys are? Um, how has that whole process gone through your mind? It's, uh, I mean, it puts a lot of things in perspective. Um, I mean, I mean, we, we, I mean, we knew each other since we was 15. You know, we've, we've been competing against each other since 15. Uh, I mean, we, this is year 19 for us. Like that, that journey itself, you know, alongside somebody like, like LeBron, like you can't, you can't write, you can't write that any better. You can't, you can't describe that any better. Uh, it, you know, it's it's not just basketball though. We it's different. You know what I'm saying? It's a different different field. It's a different vibe that we have. It's it's a different connection. No matter if I was in Denver playing, New York, wherever I was at, wherever he was at, that connection was always there. And you know, the conversations always happen. You know, it was talks before. It was. I don't. I, honestly, I don't think he was ready. I don't think I was ready at, at the times that it could have happened. Uh, but here we are now, man. Timing, timing is everything. Thank you.